Number 22, Alyssa hit a bomb during her softball game. Oh, oh, oh. She made contact with the ball three feet above the ground, and the ball left her bat with an initial velocity of 64 feet per second. Determine the maximum height of the ball and the time it took to reach the maximum height, as well as the total time the ball was in the air. Okay, so we're going to write this as y equals negative 16x squared. Our initial velocity is 64, so plus 64x, and it's three feet above the ground, plus three, right? Now then, the maximum height is going to be your vertex, right? The easiest way to get that is to graph it and trace to the vertex, right? Or analyze the graph and get the vertex. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. The vertex x coordinate is negative b over 2a in it. So b is 64 over 2 times negative 16. That's going to be 64 divided by 32, which will be 2. So at 2 seconds, the ball is at the highest feet in it. And then we're going to plug in the 2. So negative 16 times 2 squared plus 64 times 2 plus 3. 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 16 is negative 64 plus 128 plus 3. Negative 64 plus 128 is 64, and 64 plus 3 is 67. So this right here is our vertex end. So at 2 seconds, the ball is 67 feet up. That's going to be your vertex end. And the time it took to reach the maximum height as well as the total time the ball was in the air. Now then on the next one, I don't have a calculator with me. You're going to have to find when this gets zero, aren't you? So let's plug in three. So if we do nine, negative 16 parentheses three squared plus 64 times three plus three. Work this out, 9. 9 times 16 is negative 144, plus 3 times 64 is 192, plus 3, 195. This is going to be 51 feet, right? What's going to happen at 4 seconds? It's going to hit the ground probably, right? So let's plug in 4. Negative 16, parentheses 4 squared, plus 64, times 4, plus 3. This is going to be 4 squared is 16, and 16 times 16 is negative 256. 64 times 4 is plus 256, plus 3. So at 4 seconds, the ball is 3 feet in the air. So a little bit more than 4 seconds, the ball is going to hit the ground, right? So probably, what, about 4.1 or 4.2 seconds, the ball will be 0 on it.